ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some Dawn of War Soulstorm. So it's still going to be a couple of the uh, older games that I played some time ago, but what the hell. I've played a few more recent games of Dawn of War, and uh, yeah, we should be uh, up to those at a later point, I suppose. So as you can see, it's going to be a nice big 4 vs 4 on the uh, nice big map. Uh, Demi's Northlands, or Deems Northlands, how the hell it's meant to be pronounced. So yeah, top rank, sorry, top rank. <coughs> team consists of Anwar playing as a Chaos Specimens. Joy Boy, a bunch of numbers after his name, playing as Tao. We've also got Far Five Z Zul playing as Dark Elder, and Light Mentor has a nine myself playing as the good old Specimens. Bottom of team consists of Butorilk, Butorilk, Butorilk. <laughs> Interesting. Playing as the um, pure guard, and bizarrely enough, he's actually going for. Three guardsmen squads, I think. Yep, he is. He's getting a third one out of this infantry command. He really should be getting a commander, but he's instead going. Um, hmm, this is very strange. Going for a yeah, yeah, second building under there. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so we also got Macy playing as Dark Elder. He's going for a bit more of a standard build with the. Okay, an early slave chamber. Wait a minute, and two plasma generators. That's. Huh, interesting. That's something you're going to see it's often either, actually. In case Lord Barossus is going to be playing as Tower, getting the uh, Tower Commander out, presumably he's already got the uh, jetpacks out. We got it while I was talking, so there you go. <laughs> and Seraphim is actually going for an early tier 2, getting a second plasma generator. Is he going to go for vehicles? I've got no idea. So it's actually going to be quite Did a bit of follow at once, actually. It looks like the uh, first bit of combat we're going to be seeing is between my own Assault Space Marines and the Imperial Guard and it's just as well that I went from Assault Space Marines in this particular case because as you can see Butrix still does not have a command squad yet and he's going for two Commissars oh, that's really a limit of three that's pretty low but anyway he's got Commissars out but uh, actually I actually probably should get them to try to disrupt um, operations also but I suppose if I can take out a whole squad of guards it won't be too bad either but uh, yeah interesting very interesting um, Play it with sync. Which one is Joy Boy? I think this one's Joy Boy. Yes, it is. And we're, ah, okay, yep, of course, because it's a replay, we don't actually get to see the lag, thankfully. And yeah, it looks like these pure guardsmen are going to get utterly destroyed. But the uh, Commissar will be able to last a while, but as you can see, he doesn't exactly have too much health, even though he does a nice bit of commander armor. Bizarre, utterly bizarre. Wait a minute, did he just. He got a third Commissar. Oh, damn, since it's the third one there, the second one there is going to engage my guys. Probably should get him into close combat against these other guys actually, and I'm actually just going to retreat them, too bad I didn't go down here actually, would have been an alright idea, but, oh well, can you do this? Actually, is there only one entrance there? <laughs> Look at that, there is. Wait a minute, what was this? Tower should be able to build turrets, oh god no. God, they're already freaking powerful enough as it is. Uh, but anyway, there we go, so my soul space marines doing a bit of harassment, probably could have done a bit more, <laughs> and yeah, myself seems too powerful, not too surprising, very bizarre build by Booster League. Going butcher elk, going as um, a pro guard like this, but uh, huh, interesting. He's managed to fend me off so far, but my force commander is going to be coming in. Although still not seeing any regular troops by myself, it's just going to be force commander. I suppose you could say assault force counts as the um, regular troops, but you know what I mean. I'm talking about tactical miss rings. It's a pretty good angle for the uh, tower commander, actually. Um, these guys can't get close to him, and he's got being, being able to engage them with. Uh, no, pretty much um, all willy nilly, really, and they won't be able to do too much. They can fire back at him, but the thing is, he can kind of back away. In fact, if he's not careful, he might actually get him destroyed. Nope, instead, we actually got uh, Cultus going after the uh, Fire Warriors. The Chaos Space Marines, they do have the Chaos Slot attached, and I believe the uh, Tower Commander, I think, he's jumped away somewhere, I'm not sure where. And yeah, it looks like my Soldier Space Marine. Charge is going to continue. The force commander coming in as well. We're seeing absolutely no micro by this Butorel guy. Is he actually going to micro his guys now? Yep, they actually is trying to get them to run away, maybe? Or actually, no, I think they're just being thrown away, basically, rather than running away. The yeah, building unit getting taken out. And finally, we do see the commander for him. At the very least, he knows to go first with the uh, priest before the psycho. So, I suppose it's that at the very least. And uh, there we go. Things are starting to stabilize a bit on the right. So the middle is getting captured by uh, the Dark Elder player at the bottom left. He's got a couple of warriors now coming out. So yeah, the only real battles we're seeing at the moment will be between my assault specimens, Force Commander, and uh, the other guys too. Although unfortunately now we've got this bloody Mandrakes coming. It's a bit, bit of a pain in the ass. Unfortunately I'm going to be forced back. I probably could have actually just tried to go after this um, 
listing post instead, but uh, what we're hearing is a couple of commissars also coming in as well. Very, wow, look at that, very dramatic uh, little sword swing there to say the least. But there we go. So, yes, uh, Bill Trail managing to actually hold the line, bizarrely enough, uh, in part because of the uh, Mandrakes, which for some reason this Macy guy has not stealthed, not really too short. Huh. Interesting to tell. Well, it's kind of hard to tell who's winning. I suppose I've got this um, middle point here, I've got this middle point here, but at the same time, this has been captured by Dark Elder. Huh. Interesting bit of terrain, actually. Interesting indeed. Yeah, I'd say it's roughly even at the moment, so we'll be seeing a couple more cataclysmic battles happening. Maybe we'll see all the armies involved all at once in one location. Probably not, given the massive front line that we have here. Borelk, is he going to go for tier 2? Not Taking just yet. Fire. What about myself? Not going for tier 2 yet either. Huh. Interesting. Finally getting some regular attacks. In and good. Oh, Scott's fair. Uh, okay, never mind. Looks like the um, like I'll play at the top right. What's his name again? Fa-Fa-Z... Fa-Fa-Z... Zool. We'll just call him Zool, I suppose. Oh, it's got its own scourges out, and eh, not probably going to go going for the Dark Lancers just yet. What the hell is up with people not microing in this particular round? These warriors definitely should be microing for that sake. Probably could be sending my force commander in to the fray, but uh, no, nope, I will not instead. Just see what happens. Bandrax would come to these other guys as well to do a bit of damage, and at the same time, we do finally have a bit of uh, action between the Cal Space Marines, Loyalist Space Marines, and what do you know, we even have them at tier 2 as well. Grand Ice actually being used on range stands, so I guess I don't want to get too freaking close. This still pursues my joy. I'm going to want to get out of there though, to say the least. And he is a tier 2 himself actually, so I think I'm supposed to be one of the very few people that are not tier 2 yet. Thankfully we do have Fire Warriors coming in from Joy Boy on the rides to help reinforce, but at the same time Anwar really should be sending up his case Space Prince forward. He's, he's, not, he's supposed to act as a bit of a shield. Um, between the enemy forces and the more fragile fire warriors that have got incredible gun ranges, but uh, oh well, what can you do? So, a couple of minor skirmishes here and there, a bit of back and forth action, not seeing too much happening there really. At the same time, the serve me is actually fortifying position first of a heavy bolt turret before upgrading the listening post. If I was if I just upgrade the damn listening post, because not only does it put a nice little gun on it, it actually increases the um, requisition rate as well, so damn good stuff indeed. So, in the case, uh, my army, my last army, Zul, is also starting to rampage around. The, uh, I suppose you could say the bottom left flank of the uh, actually, just, God damn, I'm still not at tier 2 yet of um, the Pure Garden, then we go finally going to tier 2 uh, Is he actually still tier 1 himself? He is! Very bizarre indeed <laughs> Need to think And there we go, finally yeah, my attacks coming in to join Frey, what the hell are these guys doing? They just, just jumped a few centimeters forward it Does not make any freaking sense But in any case, I'm going to get into an Assumali I probably should be detaching my uh, Force Commander Looks like I've also got the Bionics upgrade is off my Space Marines, my Assault Space Marines are going to go to town on these um, Imperial Guardsmen at the very least. Unfortunately, they. Yeah, probably. Oh no, never mind. The um, Command Squad is probably going to get whittled down. But yeah, this is my Force Commander. I should have just. Why the hell is he stopping? He can't talk about bloody. Oh, he actually had two priests there rather than a priest and a psyker. Oh, interesting. But so yeah, in either case, he. Um, Probably should not have sent his command squad out like this. But so what can you do? This this post has not been upgraded just yet, which kind of sucks. And there we go. Now I'm going to be uh, going into melee against them. But really, I should just detach. Should have detached the. Um, well, <laughs> I should have detached the um, force commander. What can you do? Let's just get a nice little cinematic view of this. Actually, there we go. Commando. Nice little skirmish happening in. Looks like with the uh, command squad out of the way, the rest of the um, pure guardmen. Imperial Guards, but sorry, are fallen. Do have a heavy bolt attack getting constructed? I don't think it's going to be enough, though, to be honest. But at the same time, we do also have a uh, listening post, which is also going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. We do have the Imperial Guard, God forbid, actually trying to dance away from a loot troops, but at the same time, though, they're now they're just going to be st staying, sorry, standing their ground, which is not exactly the best of ideas to do. I'm not sure why exactly they're just staying their ground. I think they'll be trying to retreat a little bit more into maybe the listening post. I think I saw someone, yeah, we do have someone retreating instead. They could retreat towards their own. HQ building if they really want to, but I suppose they won't. It still gets a rather bloody melee. Which got like this angle, it's too bad I didn't do this beforehand actually. Oh well, in any case, it looks like that battle's pretty much over. Now yeah, we've got warriors and uh, Soul Space Marines coming back to destroy the listening post, and I believe Bullock is still at tier. Uh, sorry, tier 1. He does have a tactical control, I suppose. And he's going to be building kind of him, but it cancels it as well. Maybe he gets destroyed, I'm not entirely sure. Very interesting, very good use actually of the um, 
Inquisition ability there by the Grey Knights, doing a bit of damage against these Fire Warriors. I don't see... Well, actually, there are a couple getting killed off here and there. I think these are... Stealth suits, are they? Kind of hard to tell. Combination of some sort of battle suits and uh, Cal Space Marines, like... Quite dead, to say the least. Looks like I've finally gone to Tier 2. Looks like I'm going to be going a bit of a vehicle base to build. So getting the Rhino out first. We're going to have mechanised Space Marines. Too bad I don't have a second squad to fully uh, take advantage of that, but... Uh, yeah, well, what can you do? I suppose mechanised Space Marines are still good, and probably... Actually, no mind, I don't actually have a second squad. I'll be damned. I must have loaded them up into the transport beforehand, because I could swear to not see them before. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Indeed. A bit more of a standstill happening on the right. The middle is starting to slowly get captured by us as well, so I dare say we've probably got one this one in the bag. Given how relatively even the things are, if Putrelks, um, Putrelks, base goes down, then uh, I dare say there's probably going to be curtains for the enemy team. We can just. Uh, well, we can just head towards the Dark Elder player's base here, we can just rampage across here, or we can just ass help assist the uh, combined Tau and Cal Space Marine force against the uh, Loyalist Space Marines in the Tau on, on the uh, bottom corner of the map there. Yeah, it's all good. So there you go. Times indeed. This broke guy, Butterog, sorry, he had a rather interesting idea trying to... Oh, there we go, now he's dead. Had a rather interesting idea to try to... Indeed. Team the, yeah, he did have a rather interesting idea to not go with um, initial command score, but really, it's kind of essential to do, to do that with Imperial Guard, just because of the fact that their regular troops are so freaking fragile. But in any case, we're finally going to be seeing really drone squads. Anyway, we're finally going to be seeing a bit more of an attack happening between uh, Space Marines, both traitor and loyalist, and various tail forces fighting against each other. So. Yeah, talk about a bit of betrayal on all sides, eh? See, the least Inquisition ability being used at the same time as well. Also have the uh, Dreadnought flinging a couple of Fire Warriors around, but he did that get taken out. I think there were a couple of... Uh, yeah, we do have some Stealth Suits shooting their uh, Fusion Blasts as well. We do have our own... Oh, no, never mind, that's terrible. Dreadnought from the enemy team coming in to do a bit of damage against the... Uh, those Chaos Space Marines. Well, in turn, battling the Grey Knights. Now, the Chaos... Uh, Possessed space marines. You have to keep in mind that uh, they don't actually have demonic army armor. Sorry, they've got heavy infantry armor. See, so the grey knights do not actually do bonus damage against them. Even though you'd think that these possessed cow marines, you'd think they should have demonic armor, given that they're kind of what they're kind of demons. So, <laughs> indeed. So, yeah, in any case, yeah, it looks like things are going to be winding down a bit more. They, uh, well, it's not, not good. It's nice to end it on a uh, nice uh, hectic battle. Especially with such cinematic views being given of it um, at the same time. And, uh, what the hell? I mean, at least we didn't, uh, you know, have a couple of skirmishes and then suddenly have the end happen before we saw some major clashes. Thankfully, yeah, we did manage to see a couple of clashes happening here and there. Probably not much point really in seeing this from a more cinematic view, but uh, now what the hell? We might as well. Like, this lone possessed cow screen, uh, being quite a little trooper, finally getting reinforced. There. And there goes the listening. I dare say, probably for the enemy team, we do actually have uh, some donations along there being sent to receive, but eh, I don't think it's going to make too much difference. The last real bastion the enemy team has would be the Space Marine base here. Well, it does have a short base to one of Dreadnoughts. He's going to be producing a couple of Dreadnoughts to be a pain in the ass. Probably should have produced um, a couple of Hellfire Dreadnoughts as well, but not like it's always going to make that much difference. In my opinion, probably would have been better at producing a couple instead of the regular dreadnoughts. In this particular case, save the regular dreadnoughts when you have the uh, orbital command out so you can just drop them directly into battle or into the enemy's base, you know, wherever, wherever you feel like. Yeah, well, still quite an interesting little game and uh, yeah, I don't even remember playing on this map because there's plenty massive amounts of cloaked troops, even got cloaked um, Chaos Space Marines as well, which is kind of ridiculous really. I mean, come on, man. Look up. It's not like as if you'd think that the um, Stealthy. I mean, look, look at these guys. How could they be stealthy enough to freaking cloak? Actually, these guys aren't cloaked because they have the attached castle, I believe. Yeah, well, still quite a little game indeed. So, Seraphim, is he going to put up a last stand? He is. He's going to have a bunch of dreadnoughts coming out. In my opinion, yeah, we'll be better off with the Hellfires in the beginning. Uh, he's sending in the uh, dreadnoughts in piecemeal as well, which doesn't seem to be helping too much. Also, they have a couple of. Uh, <laughs> I'll be damned. Nice little orbital bombardment, actually. Uh, Going down these guys and they're almost turning into a Benny Hill cartoon actually at the same time. Do we have which is coming in as well? And yeah, as you can see, 
Got the uh, full amount of four players bearing on the space reins, and yeah, it's basically going to be curtains for server. But as you can see, it was quite all rounded. They probably did not really need to fast forward past all that. But uh, oh, what the hell, screw it. I mean, it was mostly just getting mopped out anyway. Mopped up, sorry. So, yeah, there you have it. Pretty spiffy little game indeed. So, I'll see you all next time. Well, back to some more adorable source to action. Probably going to combine us with the other video anyway, but it's going to be 3 versus 3 on the Vantian Coast map. We'll just switch to the enemy's perspective. So, top left team consists of Brasuka playing as the Necrons. Ah, Topid Shock with 3Ks. Interesting. Playing as the uh, Tau, and actually he's going to be going for. Uh, okay. An early builder rather than two stealth, so it's interesting that we'll be getting there in D. So, I really hope remember to in the Jetpack research as well, straight after them, or straight after going for the Steam Wings as well. Drazen Petrovich is going to be going as a Tau as well, so this is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass actually. As uh, some would contend that the Tau are a bit overpowered, and that's somewhat agree with them, they can just be incredibly powerful. Um, in some ways, more so than other races if used correctly. In any case, Moon Doctor is actually going to be going for an early tactical control. So presumably to upgrade the Imperial Guardsmen as quickly as possible. Hmm. Well, he's not getting any grenade launches or anything for them just yet. A very interesting thing to do. I'm not really sure if I'd agree with that. But still, I mean, this is just like what we saw happening in the previous round where the um, Imperial Guard player did not get a command squad out until much later on. And, it, and he didn't micro his troops either, actually, so it didn't quite work out too well. Speaking of... Uh, Huh, actually, is that two? Yeah, it's two, two. Anyway, speaking of Imperial Guardsmen, we actually, Guardsmen sorry, we actually do have uh, three squads being sent out by Seravim, who is also just going for a tactical control, so some interesting builds all around. Yeah, indeed. That's myself going for a more, much more standard build, just uh, Space Marines. Actually, no, wait a minute. Yeah, now we're going for Space Marine squad after getting the uh, Force Commander out. Drazen Petrovich, he's got. Tower Commander, Steel Suits, Steel Suits. Nothing to unexpected, that he's probably going to get some, some Fire Warriors out, but we actually do have Tupacic going for us, some Vespers Twings of his own around the beginning of the game, although he could have actually gone a bit earlier, but that one. Prasuka, pretty standard build thus far as well, I mean, there's only so much you can really do with the Necrons. Uh, in the beginning stages, he's getting crap loads of plasma generators out, he's got the Summoning Core being, being brought up as well. Uh, and he actually does have an early Necron Lord out before getting his first squad of Necron Warriors out. Interesting. I suppose what they could do is they could actually build a couple of um, quick turrets here and there just to help fortify positions. I mean, the builders are usually durable enough to be able to do that. We'll see what happens. In any case, Moch Doctor is uh, yeah, finally going to be upgrading his Guardsmen, actually going to be uh, getting into Field Command. He probably should just get him out of there, really. Also, getting, yep, getting the. Uh, Sure, guys, have been upgraded as well. There we go. Fine, he's going to be uh, going after the Necron Lord. Tech Priest Engines here should probably try to repair this structure actually, rather than just standing around firing his crap little plasma pistols. You can see it does well. That's along with his um, little mechanical s axe, power axe, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's a little symbol on it. <laughs> Barely does any damage, although it does actually allow the Tech Priest Engines here to tie up squads bizarre enough, looks like a friendly turret getting attacked now, which kind of sucks, what can you do? Thankfully my own space marines are coming, two squads of space marines and a force commander, talk about standard city indeed. I'm going to be doing any, anything else in particular, nope, so just two squads of space marines and the force commander, nothing too unexpected there. Most of are going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, especially since there's no command squad by either Imperial Guard player, which in my opinion is a bit of a mistake. Because what can you do? I suppose he does actually... He, well, as long as he upgrades with freaking grenade launchers, these guys, even if they're broken, the grenade launchers are actually still pretty effective because of um, well, because of the fact that they can just keep on uh, inflicting uh, pretty much the same amount of damage as before the squad was demoralized. Then being demoralized basically affects their accuracy, among, among other things, but of course with heavy, if effect weapons like grenade launchers, it doesn't really make too much of a difference, although you'd still be better off, you know, not allowing them to get broken in the first place. In fact, I'm surprised. Oh, he's actually going for tier 2 before getting an infantry command. I'm surprised he doesn't actually have a, uh, a commissar. I'm surprised that neither Imperial Guard players have actually got any commissars for their squads. I don't know if you need an infantry command for that or not. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I did play Imperial Guard at least once 
uh, when I was going as a random race, but I definitely did not go with this sort of build, so I'm not entirely sure if Commissar if he needs the... Uh, oh, okay, course, bad llama. Yeah, I don't know if he needs um, the infantry command to be present on the battlefield as well. Huh. Interesting. But in any case, we're going to be seeing a mass amount of the Imperial Guardsmen and Space Marines fighting side by side. Sounds good to me. Finally getting an infantry command by Much Doctor. Going for tier 2. Is this guy going for tier 2? Not just tier 2. What about myself? Nope, not going for tier 2 either. Oh well. And yeah, facing us, we're going to have both tower players on the left flank. On the right flank, we do have Necrons coming in to be quite the pain in the ass. Two squads of Necron Warriors and a Necron Lord as well. Wow, I'm talking about standard. Bit of armor there, going for tier 2 as well. Doesn't have disruption field, thankfully, but uh, at the same time, yeah, we don't really have uh, anything in terms of troops over there either, so this is uh, shit. I'm not going to be able to hold the left against uh, two players, that's for sure. Certainly, uh, yeah, certainly not what appears to be just uh, one squad. Actually, no, two squads of space brains who have been severely depleted. Really, I think this has been, I mean, Cerevim should. What is the other guy? Much Doctor. I don't think it was necessary for them to send both of both of their armies back like this. And of course, yep, now the Necron player is just going to teleport as soon as they come in anyway. So, wow. What the hell were they thinking? They got baited so freaking easily. I mean, I suppose... Oh, great, he's going to get himself killed. But anyway, I suppose... Hindsight is twenty twenty, but really, they should not have sent both of their armies there. Like, especially against... Tele a teleporting a Necron army like that. I mean, what the hell was he freaking thinking? At least he's finally going to be preparing that, but still. My arm is going, going to be completely destroyed. The Necron army is completely intact. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to be screwed, basically. <laughs> and that probably means that, well, okay, that of course means that's the um, Imperial Guard players will be next. So they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot by devoting a ridiculous amount of resources to a freaking army they can just teleport like that. I mean, really, what the hell? thinking. What they should have done is they um, should have just left you know, one of their own armies here and left two against here you know, after we assessed where the opponent's armies were. I mean, we would have had a pretty good idea that both tower armies would have been on the left flank, which basically meant that we either needed um, two Imperial Guard armies there and maybe one Space Marine army to the right, which wouldn't actually make much sense, or one Imperial Guard army to the right and two armies, well, the Imperial Guard army and the Space Marine army to the left in this particular case. But no, no, why not just send everything back and uh, yeah I'll just try to fend two armies off by myself that uh, sounds like a great idea and they ended up doing nothing against the Necrons anyway so <laughs> I think I can tell how this is going to end to say the least uh, are they actually unless if the um, Imperial Guard players can really pull off a hell of a win I don't see how they're going to be able to win this against three armies to say the least my base is getting completely ravaged probably should actually start a um, yeah, probably should get these builders out to start a uh, building, you know, in one of the Imperial Guard players' bases to try to last a bit longer, but that one. The hell, Chimera is being used as main, main battle tanks. I suppose I do have the nice little multi lasers, bizarrely enough, and the, the um, sorry, the uh, tower players, they don't seem to have any stealth suits out just yet either, which is interesting to say the least. No money. My god, all he needed was a single Commissar, for fuck's sake. He should have got that out before getting the fucking mechanized commands. Because really, I mean, all you need is one Commissar, you get him to use the Execute ability, and uh, because it's an area of effect ability, it, um, well, it basically enables all of your squads near him to fire their LAS guns at a much higher rate, and of course it makes them immune to morale damage as well. So I mean, really, he... Uh, gosh. It was rather interesting, you know, for them not to go over infantry commands initially, but still. Help proud or deploy your men, indeed. So, wait, does he have guys in his camera? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe he's got guys in this camera, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe he was just using him as a uh, as makeshift battle tanks. Kill the commander of my base, indeed. Yeah, actually, yeah, because he's got no, next to no health. Yeah, so I'm going to be completely screwed. At the same time, though, the Necron army is slowly getting destroyed. My base is still up and running, I guess. I'm not even sure if I'm a tier 2, actually. Probably not. Huh, okay, and apparently did not have an army there. But yeah, my base is going to get so destroyed though, so... Yeah, this is not going well for myself. I suppose on, on the other hand, the uh, Necron army will get so destroyed. I think he's teleported much of his army. And uh, this Prosaka guy has teleported much of his army back here. He's going, going for tier... 
the hell is this thing anyway? This is like the sacrificial circle or the sacred artifact building basically, but just for the uh, Necron. So he's a tier 2.5, you can say. Capture create. Oh my god, no one's even captured that yet. Well, the enemy team has, of course, captured theirs. Wow, this is just going great. And they've captured both the middle ones as well. Yep, yeah, probably going to get completely destroyed. Oh my god, why? How could they let themselves get baited like that? That was such a freaking obvious bait as well. For fuck's sake. They sent both their armies over just to. God. Well, what the hell? We'll see what happens. These guys are going to get torn to shreds, of course. And uh, yeah, nobody's got any commissars yet, so these Imperial Guard players, they have a very interesting way of playing the game, to say the least. I mean, it's an interesting uh, play to try to go without the infantry command first, but <laughs> indeed. But really, they needed to get those commissars out of where are your troops, they've been fucking dead. Dead because I, was, I faced two armies while uh, my allies went against a couple of squads of Necrons who basically teleported the second they saw them. And what? Oh, <laughs> Talk about freaking frustrating. Oh well, what can you do? It's still quite a game. I think I might just toss forward actually. It's insane. I think it's pretty obvious to anyone how this is going to uh, double team. Exactly. Anyway, it's pretty obvious it's going to freaking get wind, to say at least in the evening on the uh, stealth suits as well. And uh, yeah, double teamed. Not too shabby actually, the enemy team. I don't know if they did that on purpose, if they were trying to bait the imp Imperial Gun players, both of them, to send their armies out, or whether it was just um, a bit of like harassment. But in any case, Indeed. Oh, there we go. I did actually get my resources at the very least. I was good sport in that regard, but, uh, yeah. What the hell were they thinking, letting themselves get baited like that? And going without any commissars, basically. God damn it. I mean, they should at least got the commissars out in tier 1, if that was actually possible. I'm not entirely sure if it is, actually, if you have to get the damn infantry command first. But in any case, GG, I actually left it before the game ended, but then again, since all my buildings were destroyed, or except for that one, which was... Okay, so I can't actually select it, so it actually was in the process of getting destroyed. Well, I guess if I would have been able to do too much. Although, I did manage to get my servitor up here, even. <coughs> Sorry, and a uh, chapel barracks built, so I guess I could have, theoretically, have continued onwards. If it wasn't for the fact that my strategic points were getting decaptured as well. That's where that was still up. That's really, that was the end for us, anyway. So, there you have it. <laughs> Interesting game indeed. We game to our opponents. This has been Damien Davich signing off.